If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here with another video, and this one is, as the title suggests, about me coming on camera, or potentially coming on camera. A few weeks ago, I did a, a survey on uh, Twitter asking, you know, you guys out there, if you wanted to see me come on camera, uh, or if you felt that it would ruin my kind of shtick that I've had since I started the channel. Uh, with the Mr. T character, like I have a, you know, idea what I'll do to keep that shtick going. But obviously, if I come on camera, things will be different. So I put that out there, and I was hoping that the results would give me a definitive answer, and I'd be like, "All right, gung ho, uh, whatever, which whatever um, answer I got." And I was expecting a definitive uh, yes, come on camera uh, result, and it was, you know, it was definitely. Uh, leaning towards that it was uh, 57 percent or no was it 50 no it was uh yeah it was 57 percent yes and 43 percent no and I was like ah oh, I was expecting you know high 70s maybe even 80s for people that wanted me to come on camera and you know 43 percent you know that's a minority but it's pretty big minority there so I was uh, I was still conflicted about it, and I was like, uh, uh that's why you know, I haven't responded to the the uh, that Twitter poll. I haven't really talked about it since then because I've been just kind of in the background, conflicted. And it's funny because before then, uh, if you were if you know me behind the scenes, like my Juicy Little Crew guys, I've been planning on coming on camera for about a year. <laughs> I was supposed to do it like a year ago, basically. And uh, I just, you know, kept not doing it. Um, mainly because I, my, I myself don't want to ruin the shtick. But um, I'm going to make a decision on whether or not to come on camera. And, you know, the Twitter poll definitely helped. Um, and my feelings leading up until now have helped. And my answer is yes. I will be coming on camera in the flesh and uh, you guys will uh, see that going forward. Well, not right away. Um, basically, right now, all I'm prepared to say is before uh, E3. It could be <laughs> the day before E3. <laughs> or I'll even give myself E3 as a revelation. But, um, you know, me talking about E3 or whatever. But it will, won't be before then and it won't be after then. So be looking out for that um again I've, I've wanted to do this for a long time basically because um you know you guys get the funny kind of Mr. T character shtick or whatever with me but you know not to pull my own horn I am a uh funny guy I'm a outgoing personality wise guy um and that can't just come across through my voice uh I, I feel like I have a lot more to offer if I come on camera. Um, I think my audience will grow. It, that's one of the reasons, actually, I want to uh, to do that. I feel like um, this is almost a last hurrah to some extent. I want to see, because I know, I understand that people watching videos want a personal, more personal connection with the YouTuber they watch. Um, I, I totally understand that. Um, I was apprehensive beforehand because there's just a bunch of weird weirdos on, you know, YouTube that do all kinds of stuff. But at this point, I feel like um, nothing, you know, can affect me and what I do uh, work wise or any of that stuff. Uh, so I will be making that decision to do so. And uh, yeah, so I'll be coming on camera. Uh, and like I said, I feel like I can do for one, I can do a lot more videos. Um, I want to do more documentary style stuff. Uh, there's a YouTuber I watch occasionally who uh, I saw come in and just completely explode from being under me in subscribers to being in the, what is he, in the 200,000, 300,000 range right now. Uh, doing these kind of documentary style videos about video games. 
and uh, I feel like I could do that. Like you know, I'm a, a former f- a film student. I'm a film school grad. I'm a indie filmmaker, um, and that's the kind of stuff I can do. I can really get into, but I can't really do that uh, to the extent that I want to unless I'm on camera. Uh, so that's part of the motivation. And I want to see how far this channel can grow. Um, just out of curiosity, like I don't need it to be a crazy success. I make a pretty decent living, so. But it would be fun. Like, um, there are some things that I've done in life that I haven't quite gotten to the point that I want to get to with those ventures, and uh, this is a I feel like a venture I can tackle really well. It it suits me. Um, obviously, video and film and editing and all that stuff is my forte, and. Uh, so this is something I feel like I can do pretty well. And uh, so I, f- I want to see, uh, out of curiosity, how far it can go. Um, you know, obviously I have the Patreon. The Patreon was really uh, a motivational thing. It's like, well, if people are supporting the channel that way, I have to, you know, produce content. And so I'm, I'm really going to get rid of at least the tier thing. Um, if you guys want to donate to the channel, great. Obviously, that stuff will go right back into the channel. Um, but it, it was it's a tier thing right now where it's, oh, if you support this, uh, I don't care what is, you know, the bare, the bare minimum is great. Uh, whatever you guys want to, uh, whatever you want to uh, donate to the channel is great. You can do it through uh, Patreon, obviously. You can, uh, I think, YouTube Gaming allows you to sponsor a channel that kind of thing you can do it through that you can do it through a one thing one time donation thing through the super chat or whatever when i do live streams or whatever uh it's up to you uh, but basically that was a motivational thing uh to keep the channel going because i was getting really lax and not wanting to make videos i was losing a lot of motivation and uh this is kind of my last hurrah my last motivational push and uh you know if this doesn't do uh i have a you know i have a uh, number in my head uh you know i have a, a growth um window in my head and if i don't get to that in a certain amount of time then um i'll be relegated to probably just blah blah blahing on a video over gameplay here and there um so we're just gonna see what happens this is, i'm not saying that to make you guys watching on this stuff you know, if it interests you, then you'll be watching. So that's all as far as that goes. If it doesn't interest you going forward, then you won't. So very simple. Not This isn't a call to arms to watch my channel. But I, I would say uh, if you do actively watch my videos and you want to be notified, make sure you hit the notification bell because YouTube is completely out of their minds. And uh, apparently subscribing to somebody's channel isn't showing that you want their videos. You also have to hit the stupid notification bell. So uh, also do that. But even I hear people who do that still don't get the video. So I don't know. I feel like there's a conspiracy of YouTube trying to get rid of smaller channels. And that's also been something that's been part of my demotivation because over the last year I was getting steady views. I was uh, moving up, you know, sub subs, uh, sub count wise uh, steadily. No crazy numbers. You know, I wasn't expecting crazy numbers, but just, you know, going up, you know, and I hit, I think, 5,100 or 5,125 subscribers or something like that. And that's when they hit with this new stuff. And then my my uh, views went off the cliff, uh, basically half and under half. The people that were watching got to see the new videos and watching those. And also, they just started deleting subscribers from me. And I know it's not people not, not watching anymore because it's methodical. It's like two subscribers a day here and there. And it's just like, it's nothing that I'm doing. I'm not doing anything different. I was doing pretty similar stuff pretty much since they hit the switch, um, around the switch launch. And uh, I was making pretty similar videos and my accounts were going up. And then all of a sudden, when YouTube did these new policy things, uh, my subscribers, I lost around 80 subscribers at this point. I haven't gained one, obviously and uh my view count has dropped uh, dramatically so it's nothing i'm doing so this is kind of like the last hurrah like i said to see uh if my channel can grow and get out of this rut 
that YouTube put it in. So we'll see if I can hit some kind of algorithm wave <laughs> and start going up and hopefully that happens. And I want to also getting on camera will allow me to do more things. I want to uh, do quick kind of reviews, previews, um, and uh, also other things like I'm a filmmaker. I love movies and I also want once in a while to talk about a movie that I just saw or old movies I've seen and w what I love about them. So that's also a thing I want to just add, you know, to the channel. Doesn't, I don't expect it to be a big thing, um, but it's also something I want to do because it's all entertainment. So yeah, I will be on camera between now and E3. So let me know what you guys think about this. And don't worry, like, Ms. T, you know, the character is not going anywhere. I'm just adding to it. Uh, you'll still get uh, Puppet T. <laughs> uh, I've, I kind of got a cool idea of how I'm going to implement me coming on camera and still having the puppet. So that's just going to be adding to the channel. It's not going to take anything away. So, and I'm thinking about even bringing back um, the, the doll, the <laughs> as it's been called. It's an action figure, but... Because dolls have like, uh, you know, synthetic hair or whatever, and action figures don't. They have rubber, like a rubber uh, hair hat. <laughs> so, but I'm, I was thinking about bringing them back for certain types of videos as well. So, because uh, I think uh, the action figure lends itself well to certain types of videos. The Mizzity puppet lends himself well to certain types of videos. And also, obviously, me coming on camera will allow me to do other things too. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I know some of you are, some of you let 43% or so, uh, don't really want me to do it, but I think you'll be, you know, sometimes you don't know what you want until you get it. I think you'll actually like the channel even more. So, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and listening and I'll see you who's next time. Peace out.